Avrupa Birliği sözünde durması lazım. Biz kapıları açmak zorunda kalacağız. On February 28th, Turkey announced that it would open its borders and give free passage to refugees crossing to Europe. The decision came just hours after Turkish press confirmed over 30 Turkish soldiers had died by a Syrian regime airstrike in northern Syria. So what is happening in northern Syria and what is going to happen to the millions of refugees in Turkey? If you thought the war in Syria was coming to an end, think again. Violence has flared in Idlib in recent weeks and strained ties between two of the main international players in the region, Russia and Turkey. The war in Syria has been ongoing for almost a decade now. In recent months, the situation in northern Syria has escalated. In the last two months, more people have fled the fighting here than at any other time in the Syria conflict. This has led to the biggest displacement of Syrian people since the start of the war, with around 1 million people in the Idlib province hoping to cross into Turkey. Initially, Turkey had an open-door policy and until today has welcomed around 3.6 million Syrian refugees. But recently, public disdain has been rising in the midst of an insecure economy, blaming Syrians of rising rental prices and stealing jobs. Now, with an additional million Syrian refugees at the southeastern border, Turkey is saying we can no longer do this alone and is calling on Europe to do more. Turkey also says it will no longer stop refugees from entering Europe. Ve biz de dün ne yaptık? Kapıları açtık ve biz bu kapıları bundan sonraki süreçte de kapatmayacağız ve bu devam edecek. While Turkey may have opened her side of the border, the question remains, will Europe do the same? The immediate response from the Greek side was to tear gas the several hundred people who had gathered right on the border, with the Prime Minister warning loudly that Greece was closed to this new wave. Greece and Bulgaria have increased border control and are not allowing people to enter. Therefore, people are crossing, are caught in a no-man's land and are stuck in limbo. Both countries have boosted security at their borders with Turkey, and thousands of migrants are now stuck in no-man's land between the two sides. So just to show how bad the situation is between the Turkish and Greek border, no man's land between the Turkish and Greek border seems to have become a literal war zone. Greek border guards frequently use tear gas to disperse refugees and barricades are also built outside the Greek border gate. Now, this is not the first time that refugees have been used as a tool in international and diplomatic affairs. He's threatened to rip up the migrant deal that could see Turkey again allowing tens of thousands of refugees to flood into the EU. For example, a couple of months ago, in October 2019, Erdogan threatened to open the gates to Europe if European governments did not support his plan to establish a safe zone in northern Syria. Or in 2017, when Minister Suleiman Soylu made a statement allowing free passage to 15,000 refugees a month after a Turkish minister was banned from entering the Netherlands. Now, Turkey is currently the world's largest host of refugees, with over 4 million registered refugees in its country. Turkey, a country of 80 million people, has taken in 3.6 million refugees from Syria. In contrast, the European Union, with a population of 512 million, has taken in around a million. Siz de buradan bir paylaşımda bulunacaksınız. Bulunmadığınız takdirde biz bu kapıları açarız. Also on Twitter, people are calling out the EU for not doing more, when out of 150,000 sea arrivals since the EU-Turkey deal, only 2,000, 1.3% have returned under the EU-Turkey deal since 2016. It sounds a bit funny to say that Turkey stays committed. Let's get real at some point, it's the EU Commission that needs a change of policy. Despite international agreements such as the Geneva Convention, national interests have been more important than this global humanitarian crisis. Even within its own borders, Europe is failing to provide support to thousands of refugees as they live in overcrowded camps and dire conditions on the Greek islands. With tensions rising at both its European and Southeastern border, Turkey's hands appear tight. Human rights organizations are calling on Europe to take her share of the burden. But as years of inaction and political unwillingness have shown, does anyone really care? What do you think will happen? Will Europe open its borders? What is going to happen to the millions of refugees in Turkey? And what will the international community do next in the Syrian conflict? Let us know in the comments. Our new series on media and journalism is coming out in March 2020. For more videos, please subscribe.